Hey, we have here the integral of cosine tan inverse x dx. We're going to solve this one using two methods. We're going to do the short way and then the shorter way. So to get started, the short way is going to be, we'll do a u substitution here. So u is going to be our tan inverse x. And then we can say x equals tan of u. Getting for our dx, we want to find the derivative. So dx is going to be secant squared u du. Okay, so we'll make the substitution. So we're going to have cosine with u, and our dx is going to be secant squared u du. But notice secant is 1 over cosine, so we can rewrite this as cosine of u over cosine squared u, putting our secant essentially in the denominator. Then we get a cancellation, so we have 1 over cosine of u. But that's just secant u. And we know what that is. That integral is the ln of secant u plus tan u, absolute value plus c. Now we know what tan is, tan is x. So we just need an expression for secant. What I'm gonna do real quick is let's draw our right triangle. Yeah, that's not the best right triangle. So if our angle's u and tan is x, opposite over adjacent, so we have x over one, then we can find the hypotenuse with the Pythagorean theorem. Squaring this and squaring this, we get x squared plus one, squared x squared plus one. So then secant is gonna be hypotenuse over adjacent, opposite of cosine. So this is gonna be just x squared plus one. So for our final answer, let's just write it out. We're gonna have ln, absolute value, x squared plus one plus x plus c. This is the same thing as hyperbolic inverse sine of x. Method two, I'll leave the triangle on the board because I think we need it, and I'll leave the values we found here. So, but rather than making the full substitution, we can just look at this triangle that we have with the angle u, and notice cosine of u here is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse, no, sorry, adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's one over x squared plus one. So we can actually just write our integral as square root of x squared plus one dx. And so instead of dealing with the trig functions, we could just go to integrate this. And this is just a very common integral, hyperbolic inverse sine x plus c, the same thing we found in method one. That's it, we'll stop it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.